But what we're delivering here is inside this new speaker, there are four eight inch drivers. So where you see one in the front, there's a matching one in the back, both in their own acoustically uh, designed cabinet, and they do a force cancellation. So they are working together. If you're familiar with our micro subwoofer, which we have back there in the corner on the floor, that's a, a totally inert cabinet with two subwoofers inside it. We've taken that technology and thrown it in here. And so we have a basically a, a completely silent cabinet, no vibrations, these things aren't moving. They've been up here for two are days. Are they separated? The eights are in a cabinet. Right. These two are in a cabinet. There's a port right here, and that's where that cabinet's cut off. The, the mids and the tweeter, cabinet. they're in their own cabinet. And then the woofers down below are in their own ported cabinet as well. And they follow the same curve. So we've designed this speaker to also be room friendly in that it can be against a wall if you need it to be. The only reason I don't have these further back is because this is just straight windows back here. So if you had a solid wall back there, you could absolutely put it closer. And you'll see the curvature of the cabinet here. This is all by design. Uh, the front of a tweeter is where the sound comes from with the tweeter. And the back of the cone is where sound comes from on a cone. And so what we've done with this curve is we've pulled the back of the cones for the mid-range and the woofers forward so that everything reaches your ear at the same time. So we create a better, more immersive sound stage, more accurate imaging in between, and just depending on what you're listening to, a much better listening experience. And then with all the woofers that are inside here, when you have a pair in your room, you actually have eight woofers firing eight different directions in the room. And they don't need to necessarily we know you all want to see things towed in. They don't need to be really towed in, so we're just more doing this for the aesthetics. And the fact that these are a $5,000 pair of speakers will never be embarrassed sitting next to something five, to maybe even ten times its price. Uh, it's something really exciting for us. So, what is the shoot name? Uh, this is going to be called. It's a mouthful. Ultra Evolution Pinnacle is going to be our flagship. Yeah, so we're price. calling this an evolution for us in speaker design. The price? The price is 5000 for the pair. Yes. Sensitivity? Sensitivity, I don't have final yet, but we're somewhere between the 85 to 89 range. Uh, so we drove these at CES, uh, the big convention that we did in January, off of this Denon 4700. Yes, sir. And as a brand, we never show separates, ever. But we knew this was a two-channel show, so we've got an entry-level Emotiva, just to give it a little bit more juice in two-channel, that's only 150 by two. So I'll be running it at home off of Moran's Cinema 50. Uh, whenever I bring them home, the Titan will be the next smallest, or next size down. And instead of being eight inch, they're six and a half. And then we'll have one called the Evolution Tower, which uses five and a quarter inch drivers. So we'll have three flavors, uh, that'd be, be a good way to put that. And also three different finishes at launch. So we'll come in this piano gloss black. There also is a magnetic grill, so I'll come back to that when we forget. It'll be a piano gloss white in every speaker as well. And then a black oak finish too. So we are finally kind of expanding our, uh, our finish options. And then later in the year, we're gonna do a special run of a couple wood finishes too. Uh, just because we get that request all the time. Uh, what's, everybody wanted white speakers, so we finally are going to do, I, we've done a few series like this in white, but these are going to come in white, and they look absolutely amazing in white, especially with the grill off with the black uh, drivers. Man, it, it's, that's what I'm going to do. I've never wanted a white speaker in my life, and now I'm going to bring one home.